it's Hannah here. So, last week I uploaded an LPS haul video and in this video I unboxed two LPS Great Danes that were actually doubles of mine. But the reason that I got doubles was because I wanted to customize them without ruining their original design. And in that video I also asked you guys if you wanted to see me customize them on camera. And a lot of you said yes, so here I am, customizing them on camera. Oh, and also, I'm not wearing any nail polish today because there will be some nail polish remover involved and I didn't want to ruin some perfectly painted nails, so yeah. All right, so let's just get started, shall we? All right, so here they are. These are the Great Danes that I got. Now, I'm not sure, but these might the fake versions of their original uh, counterparts. These people that make the fake LPS have gotten really good at what they do, so it's really hard to tell them apart. But since I'm going to customize these, if they are fake, I'm not too mad about it. Either way, let's get into it. So I'm just gonna put these over here first. And then, firstly, I am going to have some cover here. This is just some tissue paper that I'll be having in case some nail polish remover kind of drips. I don't want to get it on my table in case I might ruin it, so I'm gonna have this. And then of course I have the nail polish remover. I don't think it really matters what brand you use. These I got at my local grocery store. Yeah, but it works great to remove paint on LPS. And then I'm also going to use these cotton swabs. Now these are a little bit special because as you can see here, they're not really your regular ones. These are made for makeup, like applying makeup or removing makeup. There's one here where the end is a little bit pointier. This is the one I will be using to remove some very tiny spots. And this end here I'll be using to remove kind of bigger areas I'll show you here what I'm gonna be doing. So firstly, on this one, I'm going to remove all of these kind of tattoo-y like designs on it. And that's pretty much all I'm gonna do with this one. Then I have this one. And this one is gonna have some very, very minor customization. I'm just gonna remove the eyelashes uh, because to me, I've had a hard time deciding if this should be a girl or a boy. So I bought like I said, a double so that the one I have can be a girl and this can be a boy because I'm gonna remove the eyelashes. All right, so I'm gonna start, yes, I think I'm gonna start with this one because this is the one I'm most excited about customizing. And so yeah, let's just get into it. It removes very nicely as you can see. Now you have to be careful not to get nail polish in like the other painted area such as here the pink in the ears or the nose or eyes because it's all the same kind of paint which means that if you get nail polish remover on those other areas it will remove just as easily as the other designs here which I don't want to do that. I just want to remove this florally brownish tattoo-y design, nothing else. I got a little too much on here, so I'm just gonna dab it on here. I don't want it to run on the LPS, cause that can end up looking really bad. Now this one, as you can see, is pretty much all covered in this uh, paint and I want to... I can't really get it cleaned, you can see it looks kind of dirty, so I'm just gonna take a new one.
You have to be careful when doing this because when I was taking some more nail polish remover, I also got some on my fingers. So I am being careful to not touch any painted parts that I don't want to remove. So if you get nail polish remover on your hands, wipe it off quickly or wait until it dries so it's not like wet. But as you can see here now, uh, I have removed all of it from the head. And I think it looks pretty good actually. And I think I managed to keep away from all the other painted areas that I wanna keep. I actually really like how this is turning out. So now it's time for the body. You can see there's some here, a little bit here, here, and here. Let's just do that now. Like after everything is gone, there might be some smudges left and I, then I'll just let you take kind of almost a clean one and just rub it and then see if it picks up anything. I'm just making sure that there's nothing left on here and I'm actually gonna go over and do it on the head as well because I sometimes in some angles I see that there's some left which I don't want. And here we go I think. I think I'm all done now. Wow, I feel like it's actually quite a difference. Now I'm going to compare the finished result with the original design, but uh, I think I want to customize the other one first because I kind of want to get it all done. Look at all that paint. Oh my gosh. I know it looks like dirt, but as you know, it was just brown paint. Now I'm actually not going to throw these away just yet because uh, on the gray Great Dane, <laughs> I uh, actually I'm going to use the other ends here that I have not used on the beige one because I'm only going to remove the little eyelashes. That's it's a little tricky because it's so close to the eye itself. I really hope I won't ruin it, but it's much easier to do with these ends than with a big one. So. Let's just try to do that and see if I can do without ruining the eyes, because that would just be a shame. almost scared to go closer than this but I know that I want to or else it looks kind of weird but I'm actually going to take another one here I think that might be good enough because I don't dare to go closer I'm afraid I'm gonna remove some of the blue there how does it look from further away? You can't really tell that there used to be eyelashes there, can you? I'm gonna go in on the other side here. Oh 
Oh, I'm always so nervous when doing this, especially on the eyes, because you don't want to ruin the eyes. That's like the key feature to any pet. <laughs> looks okay. I mean, you can kind of tell that they used to be eyelashes. Oh, there's a little bit of edge here that I want to remove. I don't know if I can though. I'm so scared I'm gonna do something wrong. Nope. I don't dare to go closer because I think I just smudged the eye a little bit. And if I do more, I think I'm gonna ruin it. So this will just have to be it, I think. I got all of the smudges away too so yeah I think I'm done so here we are then I guess gosh I was like holding my breath while doing this so that I would not like ruin it like one small wrong move could just ruin everything oh gosh but what do you think guys you think it looks good I mean this definitely made it look like a guy to me I feel like this could still be a girl but I'm actually not entirely finished yet because what I always like to do when I have used nail polish remover on nail PS, especially as much as I did on this one, is that I like to wash them because, I don't know, nail polish remover kind of gives you this kind of surface layer. You can tell that it's on there and I do not like that. It doesn't feel clean somehow. So I will just go and wash these with just water and soap even if they won't look any different, I think that they will feel a lot better to hold. So I'm just gonna do that real quick. All right, so I'm back. Now here they are, all clean. It feels a lot better actually. Now I'm going to show you their original design to kind of compare. All right, so here are the other ones. So I'm going to start with these ones. Now this is before and after. As you can see, this one had a lot more customization done to it. I mean, you can see on the head and then on the side here. Yeah. Now I wanted to make one of these a guy and the other one a girl, but looking at them now, I feel like I can't really decide which one uh, should be which because I thought this would be the girl because it had all the floor designs But now I feel like this one could as well be a girl as well I mean, that's not what I intended, but I, I mean I guess it could so you guys you can just tell me in the comments below What you think which one should be a girl and which one should be a guy or maybe both should be girls or both should be guys I don't know as for the gray one here like I said, it was a very minor customization, but as you can tell, the eyelashes really does a lot. Now, looking at this one, I feel like this really looks like a girl now, and this really looks like a guy. Like, wow. I feel so happy now, because I've had such a struggle deciding the gender of this one, and Man, now all that trouble is gone because now I have both. I can just pick which one I want. So this is it. I actually, <laughs> I'm actually really happy about this turned out. I feel like, yeah, it worked and I did not ruin them. I did not mess up and that makes me really happy. I wish I could have gone in a little deeper on this one, but you know, I didn't want to make myself regret doing that. So I decided to just leave it as it was and I'm actually happy I did because I feel like I like them a lot actually. So maybe we should name these guys. What do you think? Well, first you have to tell me what gender you think they should be. But when you decided that, maybe you can give me name suggestions. Now I just want to thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. And yeah, I will just see you guys soon. Bye for now.